All right, so it's been a while since we've got any updates on the live action He-Man movie coming to Netflix, but don't worry, it is moving forward, and we now finally have our Tila. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and according to Variety and a handful of other websites that are super reliable, it is saying that Camila Mendez has joined the cast of the Masters of the Universe. The Riverdale actor will portray the character of Tila alongside of Nicholas Galitzine? Galitzine. I have such a hard time with this guy's name. Who is playing the blonde barbarian known as He-Man. Now, I've never seen Riverdale. I don't know how she is as an actress. But, I'm just picturing her as Tila, and I think she has the look. I mean, the look in this photo, she's got that no-nonsense stare. Like, she could totally be a warrior. I think this is a good casting. Again, I'm not sure of her acting skills. If you've seen Riverdale or you know of this actress, please let us know in the comments how she is. But again, she has the look. And those looks could get He-Man in trouble because we have some plot details that kind of threw me for a loop. Now, obviously, we're not sticking to the storyline of the original 80s cartoon. All right, things are going to get a little mixed up and that's to be expected. The plot we have here, I want your opinion on. It says that the details have been kept under wraps, but according to a prior synopsis from the studio, Masters of the Universe follows Prince Adam of Eternia, aka He-Man, who crashes to Earth in a spaceship as a child and decades later returns to his home planet to defend it from the evil forces of the baddie known as Skeletor. But in order to defeat the powerful villain, he needs to uncover the mysteries of his past and become He-Man. Referred to in this world as the most powerful man in the universe. And here's where it gets interesting. It says, Tila is a warrior who is responsible for protecting Eternia's royal family and may or may not become Prince Adam's romantic interest. Now... That I find interesting because that obviously never happened in the cartoon, although there were kind of implications that they may have liked each other, but obviously they can't tell us that, so I think that's kind of interesting. Maybe that's why they're putting it in here. I'd be down for that kind of a plot. I think it's kind of interesting. Now, it's also saying that Travis Knight is directing the movie. He directed Bumblebee, which I thought was very good. And this is going to be released in theaters, which I thought this was going straight to Netflix. It's a Netflix movie. But they're saying it's going to be released in theaters June 5th, 2026. Hmm. Okay. Master Universe is one of the many motion pictures in development at Mattel. So I'm not sure if this is going straight to Netflix now or if this is getting a theatrical release. Maybe it's going to do both. I'm not sure. This says theatrical. It originally said Netflix. I don't know, but I am getting pretty excited for the casting. They're taking their time with this. And originally, I thought that wasn't a good thing, but now I'm starting to think maybe it is a good thing. They're focusing on the important details. I like that. Let me know what your thoughts are of Camila Mendez as Tila and where this movie is going. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you at the concession stands.